Hello and welcome to our 15th Conversation to Connect, Let's Get Real Talk, powered by Exceptional Connections. I'm Cindy O'Neill Dady, the founder and chief connector at Exceptional Connections. At Exceptional Connections, we offer intentional and innovative solutions to boost your business. Each week, I nominate a different member of our community to have a meaningful conversation with. So be sure to make yourself comfortable with a cup of tea or a beverage of your toy choice. Take good notes, add comments and questions in the chat box to engage with us during our conversation. Around the 45 minute or one hour mark, I'll unmute the lines, and invite our listeners to ask questions, share their ahas, epiphanies, and enter into our thought provoking conversation. So the inspiration of our weekly conversations to connect Let's Get Real Talks is to create purposeful conversations. We desire to be relevant during these challenging and uncertain times and to support our community to make an impact in the world and stay connected. So as we get started here today, I invite you to set aside any just distractions and invest your attention into our conversation as it unfolds. So I wanna encourage you to look for one idea that you can take away and put into action so you don't cheat yourself out of the time that you've invested here. So our conversation to connect this week is with the amazing Marcel Allen from Bothell, Washington. And our topic today is developing digital you, or actually specifically developing digital Cindy. So Marcel, say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so happy to be here. Thank you for having me, Cindy. I love your community and I love this topic. Yes, I'm excited and our listeners are in for a treat. So we're going to be shifting from, you know, our traditional interview format to more of a how to video. And so um, this is going to be a fun kind of transition and uh, fun experience for all of us. So before I bring Marcel in to to join us, it's my pleasure to share some background about Marcel and her journey. So Marcel Ellen helps clients with marketing, advertising, and is the creative force between her con uh, behind her consulting agency, Dreamosity. Her new book is Financial Joy, Know the Data Behind Your Dreams, and she's brilliant at that. It just, that's such an important part is to be able to, you know, have that behind the scenes um, information. So Marcel's also the co-owner of Laugh Tech, where she trains folks to be more memorable and humorous when developing content for their online campaigns. Um, so Marcel's personal dream is that the financial and legal industry would go through creative transformation and that their useful information would be easier for every, everyday folks to understand and consume with speed and efficiency. So the rise of the data artist is something she's currently passionate about. And you know, you'll be able to learn more about um, as she explores developing digital you. Um, so we'll be able to contribute to that. So Marcel, um, you know, before we dive in, share a little bit with us about your journey. Yeah, so when I started with video, I was scared to death to be on camera. I was a writer. I helped people with blog content. I was, I was very much an introvert and a quiet, shy, just, I was a very intellectual person and I did not want to be on camera at all. And so when I was a, um, basically a blog assistant for a while for a client, I would just watch other people online. And one of my friends out of Colorado, he started to do a video every day. And this was way before video was cool and like the main thing. And so I watched him you know, every day do something new and different on, on these videos. And I was so impressed. And when I finally met him at my old apartment in California, I literally touched him and I was like, ah, you're real. <laughs> like, and he was just a normal person, right? He was just a special person, just like any other person, very kind. And he was like, Marcel, why don't you do, why don't you do video? Isn't your blog all about, you know, dreams and curiosity and generosity? And he's like, how are you being generous by playing small. Mm. And I was like, oh my gosh, you totally just like, you know, there was a major conviction there because I had made it all about me and, you know, my hair and my face and my voice and my message. And he's like, no, 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 Marcel, it's not about you at all. 
it's about your audience. It's about your message. It's about your big idea that you want them to see or hear or do. And so from that day on, I, I jumped on the video in two, 2008 is when I actually started my YouTube channel, if you can believe that. And so um, wow. I think I did one video my first year and like in year two, I did like two or three. <laughs> And so I slowly developed my confidence with with digital you and then now uh, my sales coach introduced this idea to me idea of like digital Eric and so he has a contest with himself who can sell more digital Eric or real life him right and so I took that idea and created an entire course around it so I could help a lot of my clients develop a digital version of themselves because the people live on the line right now they're watching you know, real life Marcel, but if you're watching the recording or if you're on YouTube years later, you're watching digital Marcel and digital Cindy and everyone else, right? So it's their kind of clone. Mm. And now I just, I love helping people, you know, build their confidence with video, get excited about networking online, you know, getting their message further out there because when it comes to big dreamers, that's what's required is we have to show up in new ways and like give back and um, we have to embrace technology to do that. I love that. That's so great. And, you know, thank you for making it a safe place for us because you're sharing your, you know, vulnerability and you're tran transparently telling us that you were, you know, shaking at the knees like most of us do. Oh, yeah. Um, there's something about, you know, having it recorded <laughs> that, you know, is, is intimidating, but um, that's very encouraging, you know, that for those of us who are just like me, you know, who are making that transition after years of wanting to, to see, you know, how you can become comfortable with it. So thank you for, thank you for your encouragement. Yeah, of course. I encourage everybody here today to develop digital, digital you, although today we're going to use your story as digital Cindy as an example and kind of show what's possible for people who may be on the fence or already even in the game. We want to empower you to take it to the next level. Right. And maybe a little push on the behind for me too, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> we'll nudge you gently. <laughs> Move forward so I don't retreat, which is, you know, a concern, right? We, we kind of take a little step and then we go, wait a minute, you know, like a, oh, I don't know, a turtle in a shell. Um, so thank you for the encouragement. So I'm excited to be able to actually be able to see your YouTube channel and learn from, you know, kind of your example. Yes, let's actually do that. So Digital Marcel, I want to share, she started out very, very, like we said before, I didn't know what she was doing, really small, really hesitant. And this is, um, this is not the slide I want. <laughs> but over here is my, my YouTube channel. So anybody with a Gmail email account can have a YouTube channel. Um, and anytime I go to somebody's YouTube channel, I always click about first to kind of see when did they start. Right, so you can learn a lot about somebody. When did they start their video journey? Was it 2019? Was it 2008? And then you can see total amount of views. And ladies and gentlemen, I honestly remember the day when I was just like, I hope I can get 100 views on my channel. <laughs> like I remember that very clearly. Um, but this is where we're going to talk a little bit about Digital Cindy today and how you can really optimize a YouTube page to to have more than just one playlist right here. Oftentimes when people don't want to do a website, I say, well, what about a YouTube channel? Um, and it's YouTube is, it's a social network, right? So people often forget that it is a social network. It is not just a search engine. So everybody has a, you know, a portfolio or a profile photo. You can see how many subscribers there are. And then there's like a feature video. And then these are what's called playlists where anybody can take a playlist of videos, whether you create them or someone else created them. Like you can see this one is a different channel, different channel, different channel, but you can organize videos in a way that features the content that you want to share about. So I have one for recent presentations. Um, I think Nicole, you were in the room for this Illuminating Women one back three years ago now. Um, and then I've got just other content, right? I, I have a playlist called Four Remarkable Leaders with these big open-ended questions, which I'll often get people to dream by, you know, sending them to this playlist of questions. Um, I've got a playlist for financial joy. I wrote that book in 2018, still working on getting that message out there. And then YouTube will actually 
naturally create what's called the popular uploads. And so some of your videos may be more popular, like this one got 16,000 views, which was huge for me because most wow. you know, my network's about 3,000 people. Um, and so what's powerful about YouTube is not, you know, we can get beyond just our network to get the content based on how many people are searching for the keyword, right? So titling videos becomes really important when we optimize the video. But these are some of my biggest videos and YouTube naturally does this for me. So after a couple of years, you're going to have some videos that are just more popular than your other ones. Um, I've got a laugh tech playlist. I've got, you know, more questions here. And then I think this is a really under featured thing, but you can actually feature various community members. I run a meetup called Developing Digital You. Um, and so these are folks who have been to my meetup or people I collaborate with. And then down here, you can see like, I have a favorite TED Talks playlist, right? So I didn't create a single video in here, but I'm a big fan of, you know, the TEDx community. I'm actually currently coaching with five of their um, speakers, but you can organize other people's content into your playlist on your channel. So you don't have to be the one on camera. I know someone on the call earlier was sharing, they don't want to be on video. It's like, well, you don't even have to be on video to make it easy for your audience, your family, your customers to leverage content that you find valuable. And so in general, this is a great way to organize it. And we're actually going to dive deep into your playlist today. But a lot of times people just have, you know, hundreds of videos here and you can't find them because they're not organized in a way that can be consumed. And that's where this home, I'm going to call it the home tab for today's training, but this home tab gets underutilized and a lot of channels start out, um, you know, it just shows the top row of videos and you can do layers and layers and layers, almost like it is a, um, like a Netflix channel or something where you have, you know, episodes or you have series of content. Um, I'm going to jump over real quick to this slide. Um, when I help people in my consulting business, there's a lot of moving pieces to, to YouTube and developing a, you know, sustainable business online. And so today we're really looking at these three, recording video, a video playlist, and video optimization. And so know that we're going to drill deep into YouTube playlists, but that is not the only piece of the puzzle, right? This is just a very focused conversation around playlists because I've just noticed that a lot of people and a lot of really big influencers even have you know 200 videos now and it looks like they have five and it's just it's such a sad thing for them not to be showcasing their content in a way that's optimized and really easy for their audience to consume that content and that's what i think is powerful about creating playlists is you're making it easier for your audience to watch your content yes oh i love that this is so exciting to get into your thank you yeah, so much for thanks. sharing your YouTube channel with mm -hmm. with us and uh it's very encouraging and um i you know i'm excited to learn the subtleties of youtube so um i created my youtube account as i, I shared with you mm -hmm. during covid yep. so i had a personal one which i posted you know grandbaby pictures and a few things um that i i created an, an exceptional connections youtube channel um, and it wasn't easy. So that's one of the things, you know, we wanted to talk about is if you go to YouTube, you had a link that you shared with me, but if you can share that with our listeners, if you go to YouTube, it's difficult to find out from YouTube how to create a, you know, a channel. Yeah, there, there's a lot to it. Um, I mean, youtube.com is where you start and anybody with a Gmail email can set up a channel. But if you have multiple emails, that's where it can be tricky. And we'll show when we screen share your channel how to really uh, navigate and edit a channel because that's the thing is like people learn to upload and then they all just get populated on that videos page. We'll look at how you optimize that front page to really showcase what you want to showcase, you know, this season in your business. Yeah. So, you know, the last piece I want to mention is, so what I did in lieu of finding YouTube instructions mm -hmm. is I, I would do a search for what I wanted, you know, how to create a, the YouTube art, you know, for the banner yep. and how to mm -hmm. create playlists. And what I did is I was essentially watching videos of other people yep. who were training others how to use YouTube. Um, the challenge I found is I would find some that, you know, were had been uh, watched a lot, yeah. but they were a year or two old and mm, the technology has changed. <laughs> changed, right? Yeah. So I am methodically putting down the steps. Some of you who are listening might be 
snickering at me, but I mean, I learned the hard way and I'm giving you the benefit of that. So I, I wrote down all the steps and then went to YouTube and like Marcel just mentioned, the platform had changed. So mm -hmm. then I got, okay, I need to back up and do like, what's the most recent one? So I was watching, you know, videos on how to accomplish what I wanted in the last two weeks or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, and because of the complicatedness, that is why my industry exists, right? There are hundreds of people like me who are now social media managers or, you know, tech help or digital marketers helping businesses navigate these waters because it's not easy to do on your own. And uh, yeah, it's, it can be complicated. <laughs> well, Facebook is one of your, we might be jumping ahead here a little bit in our agenda, but Facebook is one of your, you know, um, focused areas of interest as well, right? So share with your, our listeners before we get going, you know, in the midst of overcoming your own, you know, challenges and being concerned and scared and all of that, um, you moved to teaching it, right? And yeah. what are the four platforms that you focus on? Yeah, so my meetup was designed to help people who are more DIY in the sense they wanted to do it themselves. They're not going to pay me, you know, $500 or $1,000 a month to do it for them. And so I wanted to serve people that are kind of just getting started with it. And so Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, and Instagram have been the four platforms I have focused on for years now because they're the ones that I've had success with. They're the ones where I know how to network. I know how to have a sales funnel and, and to help clients make money with it, whereas honestly, Twitter. I don't know how to make money with Twitter, so I'm not your gal. There are Twitter experts, but that's not me. Um, but the, those four, they're, it's, it's not rocket science, but you do need, you know, I, I want everybody to start with a sales plan. And then if it makes sense to go to Instagram or YouTube or Facebook, then go there. But you got to start with that sales plan first. So Right. Okay. So I guess this is a good time to just share that I, you know, transparency. So I, I purchased your Developing Digital You workbook in 2017 and I scanned it yep full transparency here <laughs> um, but I recently reread it and now it's relevant because it's something I'm doing I'm super interested in and I just appreciate that so that's a resource that you have to offer people as well yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I always say with developing digital you, you know, imagine if you could out motivate, out train, out sell and out entertain based on your digital platform, how much more profitable and generous could you be? Right. Some people don't want to make a lot of money, but they want to be really generous. And some people want to be, um, you know, vice versa, but whatever your goal and your mission is that digital you can help accelerate those results sometimes. Yeah. So I'm excited for people to, to navigate in and, and come on in. If you're on the fence right now, I want to encourage you to just decide that you're going to develop digital you and, you know, let Cindy here be your inspiration because she, she's kind of been forced to because of COVID, but now she's accelerating. She already has 14 videos online in what, two or three weeks time, maybe two months. I don't know, yeah, but yeah. It, it can happen quickly, <laughs> you know? Right. So. Yeah. So no, thank you for that encouragement. I appreciate it. Um, Cause I started, you know, I've been like you and maybe many people on this call as well, where just really intimidated, you know, wanting to do it right, uh, self-conscious um, and, and wanting to break through that. And mm -hmm. COVID has been that gentle push, <laughs> right? Um, do or die and trans transitioning exceptional connections from live events to virtual events and then offering value to our community and then setting up the YouTube channel. So it's just mm -hmm. been, it's quite a ride. Yeah, it is. And it, it only gets better, <laughs> but there are hiccups and bumps. So build a team of talent around you. That's my encouragement. So Cindy, what do you say we dive in and look at your channel now and talk about where you're at so far and, and where we can really build it out to. Perfect. You okay. ready to dive in? Yes, I am ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and... So if you guys aren't yet, subscribe to Cindy on um, Exceptional Connections on YouTube because this is her channel. And we want it to grow big and help a lot of people. Yes, please do, because we are at 49. I need to get yes. to 50. And then I need to move to 101. So yes, one more subscriber and we'll put us halfway there. So all that encouragement is appreciated. Yeah, so I just want to po point out here, we're on her home tab, and you can see that there's five videos, right, which is great, and if you scroll down, you don't see anything else, and this is where I think a lot of the challenges, uh, but if you, Cindy, if you click on videos, notice everyone how many videos she actually has. 
She has dozens. She has 14 videos already there. And so we're going to talk about how do we move some of these videos in an organized way over to her home tab. So a first time visitor would see videos in a nice organized way where she can really, um, you know, you can consume them in a, in an easy way. Okay, so go ahead and hit customize channel. Oh, thank you, Sue. There you go. Got you to 50. <laughs> up to 50. Yay, thank you. Thank you. So, so right here now we're in the editing mode. And so you can see how it says feature content. That's where you could put a feature video, maybe a welcome video or here's what my channel is about. And until you've decided what that's about, you may want to hold off on that video. But that can be a really cool introduction to your channel or just to, you know, get to know Cindy or the community. But then below that, see how it says add a section? This is where that little button is a golden button. I can't actually show you on mine because I've, I've reached 10. You can have 10 sections on your YouTube channel. Anybody can. And so if you click that button for us, Cindy, it's going to show us a bunch of options in terms of how we organize these playlists. So you can see, um, you can select content. So hit that arrow there for me. And then see how it's automatically going to do popular upload popular uploads, live now, um, upcoming live streams, but then created playlists, single playlists, multiple playlists, or then the channels where you can do custom grouping and really showcase individual channels on your channel. So I think we did last week, Cindy, you and I were creating a playlist for your Pacific Northwest uh, ECN speakers. So let's see if we can... Just connections, yeah. Yeah, so click on created playlist and we're going to show you how to add an existing playlist. So go ahead and hit, instead of horizontal, um, hit that one there and it will show you how you can do a vertical. You can kind of pick if you want it tall and skinny or if you want it long and horizontal. And actually, instead of created playlists, let's go into a single playlist because this is going to give you those three playlists and we want a single one. And now you go to my playlist and you select, ooh, go on the right one, uh, find playlist and find your PNW playlist or connections. That's what we called it. And so because her community, they have a chapter here in the Woodenville, Bothell area, and then she's got one down in kind of Vancouver, Portland area. Now this is featuring her community interviews of just the Pacific Northwest. And then yeah. today we're gonna show you, we're gonna make the uh, the Vancouver one. Yes. So then you would just hit done. Done, okay. And that is gonna, that's how easy it is to kind of create a playlist from an already existing playlist. But if you're like, hey Marcel, I don't have a playlist, we're gonna show you that part now too. So go ahead and hit playlist on the top tab um, right there. And then you can do, you can actually create a new playlist from multiple places, but if you click new playlist, we're going to call one and this is for you, Rakshana, and for your people down, down south, we're going to make a Vancouver connections playlist. So anybody that she has interviewed um, from her existing community, we would plop all those videos or those interviews into this playlist. Okay, great. So there's a couple ways we can do this. We can either add the URLs or we can go to the video and then add them individually. So let's do that. Um, click on the left where it says your videos. And once you, not, once you spend, I always encourage people, spend five to 10 minutes a day on YouTube as you get started. So find somebody from your Vancouver network. So let's do Rikshana first. Perfect, so click on that. Go ahead and pause her. Although we recommend that you watch this video, everybody. <laughs> and like it and comment. Yes, and like it and comment. And then the save button right there, just to the right of the share, is how you're going to add it to a playlist. And you're going to pick, yep, just like that. So and now you that video, save, right? You just mm -hmm. click on it. That's it. You just click on it. No save, yep. And okay. so we'll do that again for a couple other Vancouver folks. And then we'll add that playlist to your home tab again so it showcases up where people actually see it so now i just click the next person which would be um let's do amanda perfect on the line with us 
And what I love about you, Cindy, and Digital Cindy, is uh, you are so much about your community. You know, one of the things I talk about with my remarkable leaders is they have a big vision and they have a community. <laughs> and the people following you are who you're showcasing. And I love that about your channels because you are specifically highlighting the talent in your network. And now we're just organizing it for, you know, as new people come uh, through the community you're just you're highlighting talent you have so much talent around you it's amazing see i hit that save button and add it to a playlist so now if say Shauna, she's on the call if she were to do an interview down in vancouver with another member and maybe it wasn't on your channel to begin with you could go to Roxana's channel add that video to your playlist if you wanted to continue highlighting people um, from that area so you don't have to create the content to leverage it into a playlist. That's an important piece of this. Um, you know, so Gail, I know you're watching. If you wanted to add some of Cindy's interviews of your favorite interviews to a playlist about, you know, my favorite people up in Washington or whatever your channel name is, you could take these videos. And since they're public, anybody anywhere can take a video and add it to a playlist. That was actually how one of my Instagram videos got so much content. As somebody else put my video in a playlist and all of a sudden I'm up 10,000 views. I was like, oh, well, that was cool. <laughs> you know, so you're going to learn things along the way that you may or may not have known about. So I okay. added four people. I added Rikshana and her team um, to that list. Now, how do I go back to the playlist now? So go ahead and hit on your, your icon on the top right. I wanted to get you back to your home channel. So go there and then click my channel. Okay. We're, in a, we're in a weird view and sometimes yeah, I, that, I got disoriented there. Sometimes okay, so we're we going to have... go back to the home base. <laughs> right. Okay. So there we are. So we have. Yep. So we've got two, we've got uploads and PNW. Um, and we need to go back and see how there's no bo bottom of the button that says add section. That means we're not in the edit mode yet. So hover up and hit the blue customized channel. And that will now kind of turn into edit mode. Or okay. you can scroll down, now you'll see it. Okay. Add section. So what we're doing is we added the PNW Pacific Northwest connections for the conversations to connect. And I'm adding a section so that we can add so it'd be a single playlist, yep. right? Horizontal and then find playlist. And I'm gonna do the we're gonna feature the Vancouver, Vancouver. Washington. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. And done right yep yeah nothing like being able to hands-on <laughs> learner um okay so now we have good job and her team that i've interviewed isn't that beautiful yeah and now if you think about how often we're like well, what do i share to facebook i don't know how about a playlist of all your new vancouver talent right any okay. community member here could take that playlist and share it with their network saying hey if you need some great you know weekend content that's inspiring and motivating check out this collection of some of my favorite people right so there's so instant social media content I love that. So, so Rikshana could not only share her video on her channel, but she can share the playlist. Yes. And so as I add to the playlist, will she, will that automatically show up on hers or does she have to add something? Um, Do you know how that works? However many videos are in the playlist, that's going to create a unique URL. And so if you okay. added more later, she would want to come back and get the fresh link. Got it. Because uh, it's going to change just slightly, I believe. Perfect. That's good to know. Well, that's exciting. Look at that. We've got three. Um, and the the top one, just to clarify, is that the conversations to connect? Because that would be a, a good one to have also. I believe that is currently just your uploads. See how it says uploads? Right. That's not a custom playlist. So we could edit it and do all of your... Don't we have a playlist for your the interviews? I do, but they're not on the home page. So let's add them there. Hit add section. And then I think it'll be a single playlist again. Look at you, you're a whiz. I just oh. need a process. Just give yep. me a process on yep. <laughs> and, and see the feel little... like I'm not blowing something. Does anybody yep. ever feel like that? Like you're gonna break something? Yep. Like, oh, I don't want to break. So um, see how if you hover over the top right, there's that little arrow. You could bump that to the very top if you wanted. So you can kind of organize ooh, that. Ooh, and maybe you wanted to feature Vancouver, you wanted to feature that one. You can really reorganize them. Um, would you, would I want 
the conversations to connect to go to I would go I would go all the way up yeah because uploads is just kind of a generic random assortment you're you have such a nice branding across all of them so they all they all look similar but I would kind of prioritize it for your um your viewers okay that looks really impressive <laughs> what do you guys think give us a comment in the in the chat box doesn't that look good for digital cindy not only is she growing in confidence, but she's highlighting so many people. And I think that's really the power of, of just who you are. Um, I'm excited. Sorry. Thank you. So do you want to try to upload or to, to highlight some individual channels? We didn't do that to. yet, but let's, let's do that real quick. So the bottom, go ahead and hit add section. Okay. So the 10 are, does the upload count as one? I believe like so. Okay. So eventually you might want to delete that one and do something more specific okay so you can have more than 10 but you can only feature 10 at a time correct, correct. okay that's good to know so add section and then select content and instead of a playlist we're going to go down a channel so go ahead and hit subscriptions for us okay. this is automatically going to showcase all your um anybody you subscribe to which you may or may not want to showcase right so right. if we want to pick just community members go ahead and hit the subscriptions tab um okay. and do custom grouping oh okay and this is where um oh, I, we're gonna have to go digging a little bit right so think of some of your favorite ecn people i know we had talked about um well, karen chuck, randall and chuck and trisha yeah. okay so do i put their names down where it says preview no okay. what we're gonna have to do is go find like in a new tab you're gonna go search for chuck's um youtube channel Okay. And this is why it's important for us to have names, <laughs> good keywords in our YouTube channel. So okay. just t type his name up there in the, the YouTube search bar. And if he had spelled it Chuck, it may or may not show up. So let's see well, what we, happens. Yeah, we did it. So let's see this. It should work. Perfect. There he is. So click his name. And anybody on the line, go subscribe to Charles E. Oxford Consulting. We want to support each other. So now grab um, that URL at the very top, Cindy. Okay. This and so this, this is kind of a fun thing because I, you know, in order to really learn something, you need to teach somebody, right? Yes. And so I, I helped Chuck set up his YouTube. And I'm not saying that to pat me on the back. I'm just saying to encourage others, if you really want to learn something, help somebody else, right? Yep. And so we, we took the video. I did an interview with him, and we put that on his channel. And then he interviewed me, and we put that on the channel. Yeah, so, so now cool. Now we need to organize that. OK, so I have that URL. Yeah, so copy it, and then go back to your channel. OK. And then when it said all channels, so go into all channels again, and we're going to see yeah. the second no, no that's good the second one there enter channel username or, or url just paste that there okay and then hit add his face should pop up okay yeah. now cindy uh, keep that open go ahead okay. over to the zoom chat and nicole had put her channel link in here and i know she's an ecn member yes of course um so let's okay, grab let's her over there so you can either search them by you know channel or you can have someone <laughs> give you the link <laughs> Yeah, okay. So I'm not sure how to get over there when I'm sharing. How do I? Well, let's just go up in a, your second tab then and s type Nicole Lux Ritchie and she'll pop up. Yeah, let's do it that way. And she might be under um, her business name, but go ahead and try that. She should yeah, pop Lux up. Yeah, Luxcentric. Do you have Luxcentric or is it your name? Oh, Nicole? there she is. And I that, think that, is that your business one, Nicole? See, oh, see the one where she interviewed in box zero and it says Luxendrick, there it is. Scroll down just a hair. She has a personal channel and a business okay. one. So grab her, okay. her business one. Okay. And then click on the name of it. What did I do here? Oh, there. Yep. Okay. And then that URL is what you're just going to add. So if you do four or five at a time, it kind of helps that you have a plan where okay. you're going to go in and just, um, so then so now I you just type, add this yep, and hit okay. add. Oops. Uh, you need the add button on the right there. Oh, yep. okay. And not done yet. 
Yeah, so let's do, um, let's do mine. If you search for me on the interwebs. Oops, not on the, I mean, you could search for me there too, but it'll be easier if you're staying YouTube's platform for this. But do I just do Dreamosity? Nope, do Marcel, Alan. Because I have mine more of me than the company name, which. Well, that's, a, that's, that's something we can talk about too, is the difference between using yourself versus your business name, right? Yep. So. 539 subscribers. Look at that. Yay. That's I incredible. Know. Only took about 10 years. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It doesn't matter how long. You just, you got there. So yeah. yours, you have, because you have over a hundred, you have your vanity URL. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and that's what I'm working on. Numbers here, you actually have branded yourself, which is what mm -hmm. we want to get to. So that's why, you know, I want to support everybody on this call, let me know when I will subscribe to your channel and thank you for in advance to subscribing to mine. So um, I know Rukshana, um, do you have it in your own name or is it your business name? Um, and try to search on YouTube, Cindy, because this could take oh, you to I any of her keywords sorry, out there. No, sorry. it's okay. We just want to find our channel. We don't want to find all the blog posts necessarily. Right. Rikshana. For this exact <laughs> project, at least. Well, Rikshana, unmute yourself if I'm heading in the wrong direction. If you need me to go to women's. Um... Oh, there she is. Okay, so she's got her own URL. Great photo. It's beautiful. So, so just... she's over 112, right? So she can get her vanity URL. Yep, she could. And um, you'd have to go into that, that blue link where it says customize channel to do mm -hmm. that. Okay, Merkshana, I'm gonna I'm gonna support you with that. So okay. go ahead, go ahead and hit done. Let's see how it shows up. And you can always come back and add more. It's only really gonna feature five or six, I think. I don't remember how many's on mine. Um, about. I think I hit done. I don't know. If, um, please provide a title. What do we oh, call it? Yeah, so you can call them ECN members or. Um, what do we talk about? I um, call exceptional like? connectors. Yes. And I know because you have a training program, Cindy, where you have like three or four levels, you could do a, I don't remember if it's gold, silver, and bronze, or whatever your, your levels are called. You could do a playlist with people that have got XYZ certificate in a Ooh, playlist. I like that for our, our skill shops. Our skill shops, series. yeah. So we have exceptional connectors, we have savvy connectors, wise connectors, and master connectors. Yep. So this would be exceptional connectors. Not everybody's reached that. So we might not want to use that distinction then. So maybe um, just say it community members or ECN um, highlight or something. A community, yeah. Okay. That's perfect. And this is where every person, every brand, you know, everyone listening, your version of this may be different. Like I have collaborators and clients for mine. Um, they could be family members, they could be customers, they could be just brands you recommend. But now look okay. at your channel. Doesn't that look nice and just Do I hit done? Yep. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. That makes my heart happy. All right. So the power of association there, it's powerful. And, and you're that's... helping us connect with each other. So now I can go quickly right. subscribe to Rakshana. She can come to mine, Nicole's, you know, like we're all connecting and that's what you're all about is networking, you know, face to face, but also now in the digital world, you're leading your community to, to make sense of this, which is so right. cool. And so there is a limit you think to having on the community? How many? It just kind of only show six, like then you can scroll through, okay. and it, but it's just not on that home page and that kind of above the fold or those first handful, they're going to get more of the FaceTime. But okay. you could just, you know, anybody that you have as a speaker, upcoming speakers, previous speakers, you could feature them. Okay. Um, and that's where it's good to keep a channel fresh so people have a reason to come back to it. Sure. Again, it's also creating posts for social media. It's getting you know, it's like Netflix. Why do we go back to Netflix? Because they always have great new content, right? right? And that's where if you look at your channel, how can people gobble up your content? You know, what just tasty, delicious, powerful, educational content can you be providing to them? And different markets have a different, you know, flavor palette, essentially. People like different types of content. 
Well, this is really fun. So when someone goes to my home channel now, now it looks a little more credible, right? Mm -hmm. It has a little more meat. And then as I develop my different playlists with the different, you know, um, face to it, if you will, it'll give a little more diversity to it as well. So, okay. Well, that's exciting. Thank you. Um, is there anything else you want to show us on my on my channel here? Well, stay here for a moment. And we were going to talk a little bit about like, well, what's next for Digital Cindy and what's possible, right? So anytime you're looking at your goals, I know Cindy said earlier she has a goal to get to 101 videos or um, subscribers so she can get that vanity URL. So if anybody on the call today goes out and shares her channel and says, hey, help my friend Cindy, you know, get to 100, we would love that. Um, but other than that, it's like, well, what's possible? And I always look at existing models to help people navigate that. And so, Cindy, who do you know on YouTube right now that you just, you love their content? Well, I've been a roots and refuge junkie. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a gal named Jess in Arkansas. And she does, uh, they have a homestead. And she does uh, tours of her garden every week. And it's just giving me the confidence because I, I have a garden. And I want to start doing videos from my garden as well as networking lessons gleaned from the garden. Um, so that's kind of my inspiration. Should I, should I bring yeah. it up? Okay. So, but pause for a second. Okay. You, you can search it. Yes. But on the left, see how it says subscriptions, on the left. roots and refuge, go down about two inches. Oh yeah. I see it. There you go. So that's just a one so the people you subscribe to. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the videos I've been watching. Yep. Okay. And so that you're kind of getting familiar with the interface here. Oh, I, great. I love it. So that. walk us through her channel real quickly. What do you just love about this? Um, well, that she's consistent, which is mm -hmm. a value I, <laughs> a character value I um, admire and, and ascribe to myself. So she has her weekly, you know, um, videos and she picks a different topic. She's authentic. She's fun. She's very knowledgeable. And I'm amazed at her viewership. So mm -hmm. she'll put a video up and here's like one day and she has 42,000 views. Wow. You know? So and jump over to the about page real quick for me. Let's see when she started her channel. Just out of curiosity. 358,000 subscribers. <laughs> I mean, I think she's only been doing this four years, something like that. Yeah. But yeah, since 2015. So she's 2015. she's newer than I am to the channel and huge popularity around, you know, fresh fruits, farming, gardening. Um, you could send her some fan mail if you wanted to, right? Maybe you want to get her on your show. You could send her a note saying, hey, I've been following you for years. I would love to interview you. You know, you could reach yeah. out to her because she's a person. Yeah. And that's a big point I wanted to make today is anybody on YouTube, there's someone like me or Cindy or this gal behind the channel. These are not just random strangers. I mean, some of them are, but eventually you get to know them and they love mail just like me or you, right? <laughs> right, right. Well, and there's, you know, people are looking for that because like I grow squash and then so I can, you know, tell how to pick squash and how to help pollinate squash and how to, you know, prune the squash plants and what to look for and then take the squash and make zucchini bread, right? Yep. Yeah. Or, so that's kind of my vision is to be able to do what I do, but, you know, share what I've learned with others, just like I'm learning from, from Jess from Roots and Refuge. Yeah. So go ahead and hit home again on her page. Let's, let's just go look, examine closely, everyone, the, the names of these playlists, right? Because this is a part of SEO and what makes um, it findable. So she's got a typical uploads one too. So she never removed that. But then she's got gardening tips and advice. So cute. Her little pose there. Daily life. She's got a vlog. So she's vlogging a lot. That's part of why she has so many viewers. Uh, devotionals. That's cool. Garden tours. Right. So you get ideas from other people because so often it's hard to build from scratch. But if you look at someone who you really respect, it's going to give you this insight of what's possible. So she has her 2020 garden tours and then her 2019 mm -hmm. garden tours, 2018 garden tours, and then popular uploads. Yeah. Cool. So again, her, her business is a little different than yours, but you can still take these ideas from, you know, I think you were sharing about, um, you have your lessons gleaned from the garden. That could be a playlist. 
And you could, Cindy, take one of her devotional ones or one of these other tips and add it to your mm -hmm. playlist. So now you introduce Ooh. Jess to your network. Again, you don't have to always create the content to leverage the content. Because so often we think, that. oh, I have to make it to be, you know, to be consistent. Well, maybe you just want to share this powerful thing from Jess or from a community member. Right. And you also talked about, like, aren't you taking TEDx, um, your favorite TEDx um, yep. talks and making a playlist with that? Yep. And so I'll often email that to a client if they're feeling down and out and maybe I don't have the motivational words at the moment, I'll send them a playlist and say, watch these this weekend, you know, turn off Netflix and watch some real talent, <laughs> you know, and sometimes right. we, need, we need the entertainment, but sometimes we need that motivational, we need the mindset, we need to learn a new thing. Right. And that's what's so powerful about YouTube is any a channel owner can now become an educator and a, a motivator, right? For, for anyone, right? This, this young woman, Jess, just kind of out in the middle of nowhere, it seems like she's motivating hundreds of thousands of people because yeah. she chose, it's just a choice. Right. She's rocking it. That's it. So yeah, it's very inspiring. And, um, <clears throat> and I, I have a, like you said, not only have goals, organize yourself, but have a vision for what you want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I encourage folks to take someone you admire or model after them and then, um, you know, continually staying, staying in the conversation of, what were my four things I was sharing with you? Um, the four things for anybody wanting to develop digital you is to kind of just observe, notice what's happening, notice what's possible, appreciate what they're doing. Oh, Jess is doing a you know, devotional. She's doing tours, right? And then attempt. How could I be like Jess? How could I bring my wisdom into my channel? Um, and then adjust, right? You're gonna meet a bunch of different channel owners as you network online. YouTube is very collaborative, but those four things from observe, appreciate, attempt, and adjust can get anybody in the game. And it's really, really quite fun, isn't it, Cindy? <laughs> it is, and I'm, I'm inspired by your words of wisdom because I think those, you know, those four words, um, really help keep us on track and not get discouraged um, because we do need to, you know, pay attention to what's going on, the changes that are being made. And, and even today I went on to publicize our call on Facebook and the format on Facebook changed. Yeah. I don't know if anybody uh, noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice, but mine was broken yesterday. So that makes and sense. <laughs> it's like, okay yeah. now you know and it's the same but it's different you know it's it's different layout and i i had to do a couple workarounds because a normal button i would use to find my exceptional connections channel wasn't there so i had to do a search i'm sure there's a button someplace but but we do have to kind of pay attention to what's going on and then be able to appreciate okay i'm sure they're doing this to be more efficient you know it will probably be something that's going to be benefiting me even though at the moment as i'm plowing through this, it might be frustrating, right? Um, <laughs> exactly. And then, you know, attempt to, um, I'm, I'm, you know, reiterating your four points because I think they're really important for us to incorporate, you know, put your foot in the water, you know, take that first step, even if it's a baby step, um, and then adjust things as yeah. you need to, because they're not going to be perfect right out the door. Yeah, that's very true. So if even if you don't want to get on video yet, ladies and gentlemen, just add some playlists to your channel or just start a channel, right? And add some playlists to it. You don't have to be on camera yet. Maybe share some of Cindy's interviews, your favorite ones, or this gal Jess, right? So it's just, oh, it's so fun. <laughs> I love the collaboration piece because I really didn't think of it as, you know, this whole world of YouTube is like blowing my mind. Um, just because I it's not just like a Pinterest board, you yep. know? Um, it's something that's truly collaborative. And I, until, you know, we had our conversation the other day, I really never thought of it that way. So I yeah. love that yeah. I can folk, you know, can spotlight Nicole or Rickshana mm -hmm. or Chuck mm -hmm. or, you know, other members of our community and we can share each other's videos and um, that collaborative piece, I just didn't understand. So thank mm -hmm. you so much for that. Well, and just know too, that you can pin a video to a Pinterest board. <laughs> Right. So, you just blew my mind. Yeah, you you can save videos. You can collect videos for future reference into Pinterest, right? Because any any URL is pinnable. 
Wow. And so from a syndication standpoint, and this is where we were going to kind of wrap up our conversation is how do we make sure, you know, do we do the best job we can with every video? And I really encourage folks set a goal for every video. Do you want 10 people to see it? A hundred people to see it? A thousand people? I guess telling you, Cindy, I've got one video right now. I'm just stuck at 34 views and I'm really trying to get it to a hundred views and it's just, it's not sticky enough, but set a goal for every video. And if, you know, you find that you pin it to Pinterest and all of a sudden you get 25 more views, take note of that, right? And that's part of what I'm trying to get people to do with, um, you know, financial joy and know the data behind your dreams is if you have to expose 10,000 people to get a thousand views, what does that mean, right? You, you're going to want to make a really good video. You're not going to want to just do a poor quality video, right? You're going to really want to improve it. Right. Or make it impressive if you want to get it that far. And that's the the kind of marketing piece of how do you take this video and now get it to a hundred views, 200 views. And that can take days for people like Jess and, and months for some of us, just depending on our, our networks and how we really kind of bring that piece of content to the marketplace. And, and I call that syndication, right? Where you syndicate content beyond just your immediate network. And that that's where the strategy and the fun really comes in from my perspective, because you get to amplify it. You get a really, you know, bring more, uh, more eyeballs to your show or to your video. Well, and that's the encouragement that we were talking about is, you know, whatever our goals are for our business, um, you know, creating a foundation of like 2000 subscribers mm -hmm. can help to exponentially, right. Build mm -hmm. our platform. Mm -hmm. Um, and we may need to do that. I, I mean, thinking about the garden analogy, plant lots of seeds. Mm -hmm. You don't know how many are going to come up and that's where your, your bounty comes from, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it's not from holding onto the seed or digging up the seed and checking it every day. It's just continue to plant seeds because, you know, one of, one of our goals that we talked about is to write a book talking about um, the processes that we've created with Exceptional Connections and being able to share that with others. So, you know, you brought up something that I hadn't thought about in building our YouTube channel. We're building that foundation so that when we do launch the book, there's that credibility factor that's there. Yeah, there's an audience for sure. There's an audience, right, also. Mm -hmm. So I love that. That's, that's really encouraging. Um, so I hope our viewers have really, um, and, you know, enjoyed this broadcast. I know I have benefited greatly from it. I really appreciate you generously sharing your, your wisdom and tools and tricks with us. And that, you know, this is your wheelhouse and it's an ever-changing wheelhouse. Um, so it's great to have somebody who's got their pulse on the changes and can be able to advise us um, as, you know, this whole social media world kind of continues to evolve. So Marcel, how can, you know, my question that I want to kind of end with before we, we turn to the question and answer period is, how can I get my YouTube channel, Exceptional Connections YouTube channel, from 50, and thank you for those of you who subscribed today to get us to the midway point, to 101, so I can have my own, we can have our own vanity URL to make us that first step of credibility. Yeah, a great question. So, you know, mine's taken years to get to where it is now, but it, it, it takes that consistent effort. And I recently learned that a really good salesperson can generate six referrals from any sales presentation. And a sales presentation is just anytime you ask for something, whether it's dollars or maybe someone to su subscribe to your YouTube channel. And so what I would encourage you to do is get really good at asking your network to go to bat for you because you're doing so much for them. But say, hey, Rakshana, can you ask five of your gals to subscribe? Hey, Chuck, can you get five of your, you know, the, the people that you're mentoring to follow this channel that, that you've invested a lot in? Hey, Nicole, can you post this to your network to let people know that we're growing? You know, like, and that's the thing. It, it's just asking. It's just asking okay. and inviting people to collaborate with you because I don't think running ads is the right solution for gaining subscribers. But if there's people that believe in you, Digital Cindy, the leader of the ECN network, if people believe in you, they're naturally going to go to bat for you, but there's no shame in you kind of nudging them saying, hey, can you help me get five more? Can you help me get 10 more? And pull them into that vision of where ECN is going. And people are naturally going to want to, you know, follow you and subscribe. So 
Okay, well, thank you. That's a, that's a great encouragement because I didn't want to beg. <laughs> yeah, yeah we don't, and, and I don't want you to beg either. I want you to add value and say, hey, you know, like even right now with my channel, I would love for folks to subscribe, but I'm really, I really want to define what a data artist is, right? So I'm, I'm moving from just social media management and training to how do I help people get excited about their marketing and their financial plan? And I think there's got to be creativity with that logical information. And yeah. so this idea of becoming a data artist, that's what I really want people to become, not just a social media guru, but like mm, get I comfortable creating, reflecting, you know, counting and tracking, but also just making something beautiful in the world and that's mm -hmm. you know so like getting clear on why people should follow you is really really important because if it's just subscribe eh, there's right. you know we're, there's a lot of competition right and so the more you can cast your vision the more likely people are going to resonate and be like of course and they'll do anything for you <laughs> right because you've got loyal fans you already yeah have no i love that i appreciate it and and one thing i i haven't really heavily promoted it on our facebook pages um, because I wanted there to be a credibility factor when people go there, I didn't want there to be three people who had subscribed sure. and I didn't want to have any value. Yep. So now I feel good. You know, we've got our homepage that, that is flushed out and a little bit organized. We have, after today, we'll have 15, um, videos and, and then I'm going to be creating some other playlists and adding more content. So you know, for me, I feel like, okay, now I can go to my community and request it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, they say to start with family and friends, but I have to tell you, my family has not been coming through for me. <laughs> well, and a lot of people, if they don't have a YouTube channel, I don't think they can subscribe. So they have to be digitally connected oh. enough to subscribe. Yes. And so most people aren't on YouTube, right? Unless they have a message or a book or a product or a business or a cool video game passion or something, they're right. not going to have a reason to be there. Right. And, but I think a lot of your network is people who are their marketers, their business owners, their, their, their healers, their connectors, right? And they've got yeah. a, a reason to be online in a big way. So, yes. Well, we went over a little bit, but I want to open up to um, Q and A and for people who um, have epiphanies or questions that they want to ask enter into this great conversation um, we have um, just a, a rare opportunity to have an expert on the line with us to ask your YouTube questions and so looking forward to this piece of our program so um, thank you Nicole for helping us out Nicole Lux Ritchie from Lookcentric we featured her so if you can unmute people then we can have people chime in and join our conversation, which has been super fun. So I love that you've helped me transition from interview to more how to, because mm -hmm. that's my passion too, as technology is changing so rapidly to have an expert on the line to help us navigate it and watch this video, right? And rewatch it to be able to, you know, what were the steps? Um, and then even as a tool for you, Marcel, I'm excited to be able to, to have that be available. Yeah, thank you. Well, I'm really curious from everybody. Feel free to comment in the comments if you don't want to come off mute. But have you decided to develop digital you? Like, are you ready to jump in the game? I know, Nicole, you've been in the game for years. Um, Amanda, it sounds like you're already in the game. Um, Gail, have we persuaded you to jump in? <laughs> are you are you willing to, to, to join <laughs> the digital side? <laughs> and that's okay if it's not for you. I'm just... Um, we're here to answer questions and support in any way we can, so. And what did you learn too? That's another great question. Um, is there something that was shared um, today that, you know, it's like, oh, I didn't know that. And I'm gonna add that to my channel. Yeah, I think I've been on a couple of Marcel's YouTube things and every time I do, then I improve my little YouTube just a little bit more. I think that's the only time I go in and do anything with it. But it's been super useful. So now I actually have a pretty cool home home screen. And so nice. that's exciting. So you've been working while we've been going. I love that. This is like a, you know, a workshop, <laughs> right? Yes, I love that kind of a call because it can be productive. Beautiful. Well, good. Thanks for optimizing your channel more. I'm excited to go check it out. Yeah, definitely some ideas for me how to optimize the YouTube channel a little bit more with um, the titles of my playlists 
so they're a little bit more maybe creative or informative and then um, yeah just a different perspective I think of using it more as a networking tool like that's mm -hmm. not you know I focus definitely on other things first mm -hmm. and foremost so it's a it's a powerful one I do link to Pinterest for yep. my video series nice. and I've been doing that for a long time um, and I'm trying to leverage that more but um, just like I think more ideas how to do that is is mm -hmm amazing so thank you you're welcome Amanda do you like the idea of digital Amanda competing with real life Amanda does that resonate with you or is that a little too much <laughs> um no I get it um uh I I've been in the digital realm for a long time yeah, yeah. so I'm almost don't know the difference between the two <laughs> you're like, who am I today <laughs> I get that there's such a, a crossover <laughs> Yeah, um, I I think I've gone more into like brand personality. So um, I, I've I've learned a long time ago that I have to, I just try and be authentically myself. Um, obviously, not share it all because no one wants to hear it all. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but uh, what that what that uh, that element is. So yeah, so yeah, it's been it's been good to to kind of have a reminder though. So I really appreciate it, Marcel. Awesome. Well, Amanda, Amanda, you're definitely one of my inspiration. I see her get oh, on and I just love that she comes from her heart and she's so clear. And I just aspired to that in my videos as well. And in the midst of COVID, I think you had a countdown video of some sort, right? COVID. Yep. I was doing like a COVID, uh, I think it, what did I call it? Um, yeah. Self, self distancing diaries. I was doing that for a little while. <laughs> yeah, no, and that was that was great inspiration. I appreciated that. But, you know, so those of us who are a little further ahead or a lot further ahead, you know, we can all glean from each other and get inspiration and encouragement. And um, and then we'll add you, uh, Amanda, to our, um, our community playlist as well. So awesome. anybody else? Well, and Chuck says here in the comments, thanks, Marcel. I'm inching closer to being digital me. First step is the biggest leap. Cindy and I are discussing coverage on YouTube. That's awesome, Chuck. I'm happy that you're in the game now. I think your message and you've got a big network of people that are, are leaning on you for direction. And I think it'll be great for you to, to go there and then show them how you went there, right? Because I want to empower you to take this content and empower your, you know, your networks and your people because um, there's, there's a need. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And I'm seeing it more and more. That's why I'm glad today's program here, the information you give is really is like it's kind of an eye opener. Perfect. Because you, know? yeah. you think of YouTube, it's just videos out there, but you can see that it actually is a networking platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because behind every channel is someone like me. Right, or someone like Cindy or someone like you or a team of someone's right some of the bigger brands they have probably 20 people working on their YouTube channels but for the small networking if you if you guys are missing going to you know ECN or your chamber events or physical face-to-face -face networking think about how can I find five cool people on YouTube today right five people who are interested in or who are training this and they all have a website they all have phone numbers listed right emails and so they're people that you can connect to you'll find that the bigger channels and the, the more popular channels, they're harder to get to, but you can still get to them, right? And so from a networking pers perspective, there's millions of people online that are waiting for your, your message, your products and services, you know, your kindness, your, your teachings. And so there's never not someone to talk to <laughs> in my world. <laughs> That's frankly my biggest takeaways from this call myself is just the reminder of the, you know, again, the networking piece and the collaboration piece. I think it's so beautiful. I just didn't look at it like that. I thought of it, frankly, they call it a vanity URL and I looked at it more of a vanity standpoint, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's all about me, you know, and that that's not something I'm real interested in. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, to be able to showcase others and spotlight others is inspiring to me. Mm -hmm. um, so Sue, I saw that you're joining us too. Hello. I, 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 just topped out of the shower so I had my face off for most of the thing but thank you so much for the content because I mean I've had a business for a couple of years but I'm just dabbling um, just trying to get stuff together so uh, <laughs> as Nicole knows too but um, you know just uh, I really think it's so important that you're you're showing what we can do to to uh, put all the put all the dots together really 
So, uh, cause there, I know there's a lot of platforms out there and I'm not into, uh, I, I just don't want a gadget or something. I think this is real. And so I think that you're giving content back that people want because they want somebody to connect all the dots for them. So if you yeah. just, that's great. Thank you yeah. so much. You're welcome. And and with that, I'll wrap up with this. If anybody wants help connecting more of the dots other than playlists, you know, please reach out because I've identified dozens of dots, <laughs> if not hundreds of dots in this game. And, <laughs> and it is not a, just a one-stop thing. Like it is ongoing, you know, getting your first hundred, then a thousand, then 10,000, right? When I scaled Les Brown from 35,000 fans to 100,000 fans, that was a very different campaign than when I'm helping somebody to get to their first hundred fans, right? So there's a lot of dots. <laughs> But I love helping people, you know, develop their dreams. And if, if somebody wants one-to-one -one help, please reach out. Well, we'll just um, ask for one more insider question before we wrap up, because Sue, that was a, a brilliant kind of segue to, to us wrapping up here. And thanks for joining us. Good to see you. And for all of those of you who join us, anybody else have any ahas, epiphanies, questions? Well, I, I too want to just say thank you to Marcel because um, I've learned a lot today that I never knew about YouTube. I mean, I'm one of these ones that when I want to learn something, I just go to somebody who's going to teach me something and then I turn it off. And I had no idea how diverse it was, it is. And so I appreciate the education and you know, you can probably look for me one day, but <laughs> not tomorrow. <laughs> That's fair. Maybe, we'll thank take you it. so much. Maybe by Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> awesome. Well, one of the things that I was reminded of today, um, so Debbie Page is a member of our community and she does uh, learn and earn every Wednesday at nine o'clock. And I was on her call earlier. I think Nicole was also. And she reminded us that this is a great time right now. Um, you know, kind of in the COVID mode still, we're not sheltering in place necessarily, but um, this is a great opportunity during the summer months to work on marketing and our infrastructure and, you know, reaching out to our clients and giving them some love and um, just doing those kind of behind the scene things that sometimes when we get really busy, we forget about. And so um, this is one of those things, you know, because I, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out and navigate YouTube on my own during the, the shelter in place. Um, but it was time well spent because now I can help others. Um, and then also I can take my, you know, um, platform to the next level. So I just want to encourage those who are on the fence, um, you could do it and we're just can in, continue to encourage each other. And so in closing, Marcel, you kind of alluded to some opportunities um, for those to people to connect with you. Um, what is the best way that you would, you know, encourage others to reach out to you? Well, I would just say, you know, make yourselves familiar with dreamosity.com. Um, it's, it's a website I've had online for 11 years now, just really supporting people like you navigating social media. And again, what, whether you want your first 100 views, 100 subscribers, 100,000, any of those dreams, big or small, I would love to support you in that and be one of your coaches, right? You're likely going to have multiple coaches as you navigate yeah. to win online, yeah. but I would love to help you uh, kind of get clear on your pathway because if you don't know where you're going, probably won't get there yes. <laughs> and I want to help you get somewhere cool because you all have great messages so right and I will be signing up for that too because I have a goal a big goal in the next three months um, and thank you for your support today and then you know ongoingly in the next couple of months and working with you I'm very excited Me too. so thank you all for joining us today and tune in next Wednesday um, at noon noon <laughs> noon o'clock <laughs> And uh, we'll be featuring uh, Erica Larson, and she's a member of our Exceptional Connections community, and I'm very excited to be able to highlight her. Um, Nicole, you and I need to talk. I want to feature you as well. She's um, great. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is just a platform to be able to nominate members of our community and be able to share and shine, have, you know, share their brilliance, have them shine and teach us something. So thank you guys for joining. 
Um, just oh, in closing, you, remember, to make, <laughs> you're welcome. remember to make every connection an exceptional connection. And we are hosting our networking luncheon second Tuesday, July 14th. So if you haven't grabbed your ticket, um, it's not too late. And su Super Summer Special is on where you can invite somebody um, for the same price, basically a two for one. So nice. thanks, everyone. Thank Take you, care. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you.